All right, hey guys, I'm going to show you how to install a uh, rain barrel spigot without having to cut the top off the rain barrel. You see a lot of rain barrels, uh, you know, the top is cut off. And the way these valves work is, is that the threads are reversed. So uh, these threads work, let me see, this way. Yeah, these threads work this way. And the other threads work the opposite direction. And that's what makes it tighten from the outside without having to go reach them the inside with a wrench. And so I'll try to demonstrate that now. Um, now I've already gone ahead and drilled my hole. This is an inch and a quarter hole for this spigot. Um, any other uh, spigot may be a little bit different. Now it comes with the valve and the string. The string is very important. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the string down in the hole, kind of line it up with the hole right there. I can reach in and grab that, grab the string. Now I've learned the best thing to do right now is line up your inside piece on the string so that it goes in with the threads facing down like this. You can go ahead and drop that in and I would tie these strings together. Just go ahead and tie them together because it only takes a second to lose it. You can get it back out, but this makes life a lot easier. Okay. Now we can use this string. Come, come in, come in right here. Now we can use the string to line up this piece with the hole. And actually, what I do is on, on the side so that I can work with it. And. You know, it's just one of those things you gotta keep working with it till you get it. Um, of course, sandpapering the whole smooth really helps a lot. Let's see how to pull this thing up and make a fool of me on the internet. There we go. Alright. Um, Alright. So that's that part. Here. So I'm at that point, I untie my string, being careful not to pop this back through. Now, the inch and a quarter is a pretty tight fit, so I shouldn't really be flopping around. Okay. So now we're coming. This is where it gets tricky because everything's backwards. It's like reverse universe here. Yeah, see, these threads tighten to the to the left. And that's why you can tighten this up without a wrench on the inside. Okay, so I'm going to get that as tight as I can. Take these threads here. Now these go the way we're used to. And then the, the, the torque that's created when I tighten this down. I should, I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to stop, go get a wrench, but you get the idea. It tightens from the outside. Now with a wrench here and here, just from the outside, we can get this here and here. You can put wrenches and tighten this up from the outside. And there you have it. There's your water barrel, the spigot, and our lid is still intact. So it's not as hard to control our mosquitoes and everything. It will have to be vented still, but you could put uh, you know, cheesecloth or um, old screen, 
rubber band some old screen around that keep your mosquitoes out or put some olive oil in there that'll keep mosquitoes out as well but that's that's one way to get it done but that's a special valve made for this and it's reverse threaded that's how it works <laughs>